Okay, hear me out here. If you want to get a device for play and work, then consider getting the new Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. It has Samsung DeX and combined with the official keyboard case, this massive 14-inch tablet can be a great device for work. However, we've already talked about that when we reviewed the Tab S8 Ultra. So yeah, whatever we said during that video also applies to the Tab S9 Ultra too. Link at the top right corner there. But I want to talk about the play aspect in this video. Yes, you can run the latest and greatest games available through the Google Play Store as what we've shown in our gaming test. Again, link at the top right corner there if you want to watch that. But at the end of that video, I've also mentioned about emulation. I have a few different emulation loaded to this tablet right here. So let's talk about it in this video. Quick note, everything shown in this video is for showcase only. I will not be showing any tutorial or anything like that. So you have to Google that yourself. I'm also using a Bluetooth controller, specifically the Gully Kid King Kong 2 Pro because I really like this controller and I will leave the purchase links for all of the controllers that I recommend you to use down in the description below. So the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra, it has a massive 14-inch Dynamic AMOLED 2X screen with magnificent colors and super thin bezels, fantastic stereo speakers and also unparalleled performance thanks to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset. Its humongous screen made it rather uncomfortable to play touchscreen games with and that is where I got the epiphany to try out emulation. So I started off with N64 games with the M64 Plus FZ emulator. Seriously, you guys need a better name for your emulator. Anyway, this emulator plays N64 games, of course. And since this tablet has a super high resolution of 1848 by 2960 pixels, I scaled the emulator's render resolution to 3840 by 2880 pixels. Then I launched Banjo Kazooie and Ocarina of Time with zero mods and they ran perfectly fine. There were no visual or audio glitches and it also ran at the native refresh rate too. So that is fantastic. Jumping on to the next emulator, Dolphin for GameCube games. I have a few games here and I scaled it 4 times the native resolution too. I'm going to talk about Wind Waker first in this case. Once again, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 4 Galaxy chipset means that this tablet can run the game with no audio or graphical glitches at the native frame rate. The second game is Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. This game in particular, I also downloaded the custom HD textures and it looks absolutely gorgeous with the super vivid colors of the Dynamic AMOLED 2X screen. Once again, 4 times the native resolution with custom HD textures and the game ran perfectly smooth.
After that, I'm jumping to the current generation of console, which is using Yuzu. I have to say, I am rather impressed that all of these games can actually boot. However, they don't run particularly well. I also tried it with the default and custom driver, link in the description for this, but both of the results are exactly the same. I also turned off dock mode because it is just more stable that way, and I tried a total of 3 games using Yuzu emulator starting with Kirby and the Forgotten Land. For this game, it booted up and the menu is smooth as ever, but the game itself doesn't actually work. The audio is just fine, but uh, yeah, it is just a blank white screen. Kiss of the Kingdom is, I would say, um, unplayable actually. It glitches way too much and the graphics are inaccurately rendered, especially the lighting. There are a lot of frame drops here and there and I don't think it's just a good experience. The last game I tried on Yuzu is actually Metroid Dread. I'd say this works very well but it's still not perfect. There are some graphical glitches here and there, especially the lighting. And those counter-attack flashes are just, well, as you can see here, they are distracting. So overall, I'll say that this Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra is perfect for emulation, especially for retro games. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy can emulate a lot of these titles just fine at a higher resolution with custom HD texture packs, coupled with the magnificent, bright and vivid 14-inch Dynamic AMOLED 2X screen. I think I'm going to play the entirety of the Thousand Year Door using this tablet. So yeah. If you have any questions, please don't ask me because I will not provide any links. Go Google it yourself and we'll see you guys in the next video where we, yeah, we still have a lot of reviews to do for all of the stuff that were announced during the Unpacked event. Yeah, we'll see you guys there.